Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. I'm back here at JMS Mitsubishi to check out this brand new 2023 Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross Rally Art. Now, long ago, Mitsubishi had the Eclipse. It was a two-door compact sports car. They had that in the lineup till about 2012, and then it went away. And Mitsubishi then brought the badge back recently on a subcompact SUV called the Eclipse Cross. And what they've done with this one, and this has just hit the dealer lots, is they've taken their standard Eclipse Cross SUV and they've put on some rally art. And that's why they call it the rally art, because there's rally art all over the car and a little bit on the inside too. So we're going to check this out, see what it brings to the market in this subcompact SUV segment. So let's dig in. All right, the front end of this Eclipse Cross Again, we have in black now, the Eclipse Cross script along the hood, flat black on the grill with the Missy Bishy badge in the center. We have that front splitter area, if you want to call that, in red, the Rally Art badge right there. And there's Rally Art badges all over this car. We have LED headlights, LED daytime running lamps, LED turn signals, LED fog lamps on this Eclipse Cross Rally Art. But the front end looking pretty good here. Let me know what you think in the comments. Wheel and tire set up on this Eclipse Cross Rally Art. We have an 18 inch gloss black wheel, Mitsubishi badge in the middle, standard brake and rotor package. Tires, we have Bridgestone Ectopia all season tires and tire size, 225 on the width, the 55 series sidewall, 18s, all four corners, all wheel drive. Full side profile on this Eclipse Cross SUV. Of course, we have the diamond white all over the car. I think that's a good color, especially with the flat black around the wheel wells and all of this red rally art trim and rally art stripe that goes through the bottom of the, the doors. So overall, it looks pretty cool and it makes it look pretty sporty. Let me know what you think in the comments. Moving in closer, we're gloss black on the side view mirror with LED turn signals, color matched on the front and rear door handle. There is that rally art stripe that goes along the bottom of the door. Looking good against the white paint, I think. As we come up, we have a fuel filler cup on the left side. Look at the size of this roof spoiler coming up in the gloss black, but underneath in the red with rally art. Looking good. Shark fin antenna up top with this color matched roof. My apologies for all the pollen, but that's just the time of year and no sunroof in this Eclipse Cross. All right, back into this Eclipse Cross, we have a huge roof spoiler coming off the top painted red underneath with, of course, the Rally Art badge. The windshield wiper or rear window wiper is down below, Mitsubishi badge in the center, Eclipse Cross. And then we have LED lighting in the back, except for the turn signals. Down below, we have that nice looking carbon fiber diffuser. Now, it, I'm not sure at this price point if this is real carbon fiber, most likely faux carbon fiber, with the exhaust tucked up underneath the right side of the car and the Rally Art splash guards because they're really going for this rally look here on this Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross. Let me know what you think. All right, we're under the hood of this 2023 Eclipse Cross Rally Art. And what do we have for a power plant? Well, we have a 1.5 liter turbocharged inline four cylinder engine mated to a CVT transmission. 152 horsepower, 184 pound feet of torque. MPGs 25 in the city, 26 on the highway, 25 combined. The engine's minimum octane rating is 87, so you can run this on regular unleaded gas. All right, before we get into the interior of this a little Eclipse Cross, you're going to want to know, Mike, how much does this look? It looks pretty cool. I haven't seen one. What is it, what is it like? What, how much is it? Well, MSRP, the way this one is optioned, $31,735. Let's check out the interior. Footbox action, nice large dead pedal brake and accelerator, but this is a rally car. We'd like to see a little bit more action in the footbox, but what are you going to do? This is the way we have it optioned. The uh, floor mats, which look pretty cool, are in the tailgate area, so we'll show you those later. We have manual seats for both the driver and front passenger. No power in this rally art because this was a rally car, baby, and we got to lose weight. Cloth interior, black, dual design. Headrests are okay. The cloth is pretty soft, but nothing crazy. 
pretty plain Jane on the interior. All right, door panel action on this Eclipse Cross. We have soft touch up top. We do have some gloss black plastic around the black door handle. I like the faux carbon fiber around the uh, switch gear, and it has a nice soft, soft uh, armrest. Oh, I'm going to say semi-soft armrest with that brushed aluminum, but I, will, I think maybe I would have liked to seen that faux carbon fiber up around the door handle. Let me know what you think about that. But overall, it's a pretty cool looking door panel. We got soft touch up here on the dash, more of this brushed aluminum trim, and then the glove box, nice and large. All right, here we go with the infotainment system, and basically we have the base infotainment system from Mitsubishi. This is the 8-inch Mitsubishi infotainment system. No nav. All nav is going to be coming through your phone. This does have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto compatibility. You can Bluetooth your phone. You can go to your music if you would like. You can come back. you got Sirius XM, the Bluetooth action, a couple of USBs you can plug into. But nothing uh, really crazy going on in this. You can change your settings in here, vehicle settings and all that jazz. So there is some action, but it's pretty basic stuff here in this, here in this vehicle. We go into reverse for the backup camera. The backup camera, though, is nice and clear, but there is no trajectory. So, again, base system. I'm not so sure if I would have went this way in this rally art considering this is like top of the line for the Eclipse Cross. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. We have two heat and air vents, and then we have a four-way hazard lights. Down below, a one-zone climate control. we got some blank switches with eco mode, and then you have two USB-As and a 12-volt. Here is the gear shift that's going to take you through this simulated gears of the CVT. Two stage heated seats for the driver front passenger. Here is the diff lock for the all wheel drive. We have a manual emergency brake, which is pretty cool. Two cup holders and a fairly semi soft armrest, but harder than softer. And then when you open that up, you do have a nice area for storage. Now, the key this is very strange rally yard action, top of the line action, and look at this. Oops. Look at this key. It's an old-fashioned key. Lock, unlock, panic button, Mitsubishi badge, but no push-button start in this Eclipse Cross Rally Art. you got to stick the key in the ignition and turn the car on with your foot on the brake. All right, Mitsubishi steering wheel, soft touch on the steering wheel, pretty plain Mitsubishi badge on the horn button. On the left, we have our telephone voice commands and then some uh, controls for the digital portion of your dash. And then here on the right, you got your cruise control action. We don't have paddles. Here are the controls for your headlights and fog lamps. And on the right, your front and rear wiper. On the left side of the vehicle, you have this button here. This sets how far you want an object away from the car before the parking sensors come on. So if I push that button, you can see it says far, and I hit again middle and then near. So it all depends on how much distance you want before those sensors go off. That's interesting. I haven't seen that before. Lane keep assist on off, traction control off. Now we come to the dash analog digital combo, analog gauge, speedometer, tachometer. And then you got a small four inch display in the center where you have your fuel level coolant temperature. And then if you want, you can zip through some additional action right here and that's using this button right here trip setting settings there's your s all wheel drive action looking cool eco so they got some action going on with this eclipse cross as you can see and you get that nice little doot doot every time you touch it <laughs> Drive mode action. Now you get the drive mode action going by actually pushing this S all wheel drive badge down on the center console. When you do that, you got normal snow and gravel. And that's the action for this Eclipse Cross. And if you want your eco mode, you do have another button right there you can push in to go into eco. So there you have it. All right, overhead console, not much action going here. This button remains in. If you want the dome lights to come on and off when you open and close the door, there you go. 
and when you close the door, off they go. Pretty easy. No sunroof to show you. We do have a sun visor with vanity, but no light. And then it does slide. All right, getting in the back of the Eclipse Cross, I have the seat set for my driving position, so let's come on in. Watch your head, low bridge on the way in. Now, still got the cloth all the way down, nice room for my knees, nice room for my head at five foot 11, but you gotta duck down to get in. This is a low roof back here. And now, no seat pocket behind the driver, but we do have a seat pocket behind the front passenger with the cloth seats. And then down here, we do have a power outlet, a 12 volt action down here, but no heat and air vents, no USBs. Back door panel, pretty much the same as the front as far as the design and the materials. So Mitsubishi has kept it consistent, except for that brushed chrome handle, which is missing from the back seats. Back, back seat, the door panel, I mean, back seats, same cloth material, same design. Same headrests, no center armrest in this Eclipse Cross. So when you're using, looking for cup holders, you got one in each door and that's it. And there's a look at that faux carbon fiber on the switch cure, which looks nice. But overall, it's pretty comfortable once you get back here and you're riding higher than the front seat passengers are riding. So you kind of feel like you're up in the air a little bit back here, but certainly you're going to have headroom issues and you're gonna have heat and air issues back here because I got the air on it blasting at 63 and I could barely feel it back here. They're gonna need some vents here in the back of this Eclipse Cross without a doubt. All right, getting in the trunk area of the Eclipse Cross, cargo area, open the tailgate, come to the back, right underneath the E in Eclipse, there's a button, lift up, and here you have it. You have a nice area with back seats up, four baggage, no problem there. Here are the floor mats I was talking about, and look how nice they look. Eclipse Cross, Rally Art, with the, the uh, piping on them, they look really good. And then underneath here, we have a spare tire, so thank you Mitsubishi for that. But, and then you have a tonneau cover or security shade, which is removable if you don't want it. And you have some lighting in the back as well. So they got you covered except for some power here in the tailgate area. If you want to get these back seats down, it's pretty simple. You just lean forward, pop this up and push the seat down. Get them push this down a little bit. Probably stiff, probably haven't been down yet ever. There we go. And now you got more space if you have those extra large items. So good use of space in the back of this Eclipse Cross SUV. And if you take this out, then you're gonna have room for taller items as well. All right, here's your window sticker for this Eclipse Cross Rally Art. We're gonna zoom on in. See if we can see everything that's optioned into this vehicle. Of course, they give you the mechanicals right there as well. The front McPherson struts, suspension stabilizer bar, and all that good stuff. Multi-link link rear. of the options. And your MSRP. Let's take her out for a spin. All right, we are out driving this 2023 Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross Rally Art action. And First things first, good visibility out the windshield, side glass, rear window, just fine. Uh, we don't have blind spot monitors here in this vehicle. We have that extra little mirror that's up in the corner of the side view mirror to give you the view of the blind spot. So there is no blind spot monitoring here. There's got some lane keep assist action, uh, but no blind spot monitoring. I would like to see that, I think every car should have that. I do like the LED lighting up front. I do like the LED lighting out back for safety, makes it driving at night easier. And I love how they've done this rally art on the outside of the vehicle. It's really given it a kind of cool rally car look. But then the interior 
you get in it and you're like, oh, where's all the flare from the outside? I think they could have brought a little flare from the outside into the inside of the vehicle. Give me the little red rally art action on the door panel or on the seats or somewhere on the interior, except for the faux carbon fiber accents. There really isn't anything in here besides the floor mats that tell me rally art. I would have loved to seen a, you know, some red on the interior, on the door panels, or on the seats or something to bring that flare in from the outside. So I think that's a missed opportunity for Mitsubishi on this rally art spec. Now the other issue is we're really low on tech in here. We have the base system, you have Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, but it says compatible, which means to me it's wired, and then you got USB-A's only so you'll need to have an adapter if you have a USB-C connection on your phone. I do like the heated seats, uh, but uh, it's a little light on tech. So we're light on tech and we're light on design on the inside compared to what you see on the outside. And then what else are we light on? We're light on the power plant. We have a very slow car. This 0 to 60 estimate is 9.9 .9 seconds in this vehicle. 9.9. .9. That is really slow. So, even though the engine doesn't feel underpowered under normal driving, this is not going to be like, wow, this is like a rally car. This Ecl Eclipse Cross is like back in the old days when we're rallying on the gravel roads and flying off everywhere and, you know, people getting smashed into the ground now now it may look like that but it ain't ain't that so they could have done something more with this power plant we're going to give it a shot though see how it goes no paddles either so i'm really conflicted with this because i do like Alright, so we're going to come down the road here, make sure nobody's behind me, find a flat area, do emergency stop. See how the brakes work here on this Eclipse Cross Rally Art in three, two, and go, straighten it out, three, two, one. Oh, brakes are good. Straight line, no issues. Now let's take off and see what we got. Boy, that turbo pops in pretty harshly. And it is dirt slow. <laughs> it's really slow. <laughs> little engine making little power uh, in a rally art car. I uh, I don't know about that. But at the end of the day, it is an interesting offering in this segment of the subcompact SUV segment. And as a subcompact SUV, it's got good room. Now we got a sloped roof which is preventing Mitsubishi for put, from putting in the, the moon roof, the large moon roof, and you compromise headroom getting in and out of the back door of the vehicle. So you gotta keep that in mind as well. But you got plenty of room for so for a usable everyday uh, subcompact SUV, it's got the room, it's got enough power to get you around town without an issue but they are going for rally action. They're going for, that's why they call it the rally art. I know it's rally art and not rally because what they're doing is just putting on the rally art on the outside of the car. But I would like to see something more on the interior to give me that rally art feel. And it would be nice to have more power in this vehicle just to make it a little bit faster. It doesn't have to be a lot. Give me zero to 60 in like seven and a half seconds, not 10 is what I'm trying to say. But overall, that's what you got here on this Eclipse Cross. It's kind of a mixed bag of things. Uh, and it would have been, I think, uh, more compelling 
especially in, with the interior. But you guys let me know what you think. You saw the review. You see the outside of the car. Let me know what you think about this Eclipse Cross Rally Art, whether it's something that might interest you in this segment or not. Or would you go elsewhere for your subcompact SUV needs? There's a ton of competition out there, heavy competition for this Eclipse Cross. But let me know what you think. But I do want to thank JNS Mitsubishi in Ewing, New Jersey, for allowing the channel access to this 2023 Eclipse Cross Rally Art for review today. I'd like to thank all of you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like. Please also consider subscribing and turn on that notification bell so you'll never miss another Shabby's Rides video. And I'll see all of you on the rebound. Take care, everyone.